Hi there, my name is Suzanne England, Director of HR Programs and Process here at Gatehouse Media. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to register in ADP Vantage if you do not have an email address or smartphone that you can use as part of the ADP registration process. So there is a workaround of what you can enter for an email address because you do need to enter something. And this video, as well as the information packet, the registration packet, will show you how to do that. It's very important that we get as many employees as possible officially registered in the ADP Vantage system. Okay, so I'm here with Dave, and in this video, we're going to show you how to register in ADP Vantage without an email address or smartphone. Does, Dave does not have an email address. So we're going to show you the workaround so that you can still register in Vantage without an email. So this is the Vantage homepage, and when you come here for the first time to register, you're going to navigate over to the right, and you're going to click Register Here First Time User. And you're going to enter the company registration code, which is G-H-M-E-D-I-A-L-L-C dash G H M. Make sure it's in all caps and then you're going to click next and then you're going to be asked, do you want to set up an account with Gatehouse Media LLC? And you're going to click yes. Then the next thing is you're going to identify yourself. So follow the prompts on the page. And then you're going to click, I am not a robot. And then what's going to happen is um, there's going to be a prompt that comes up to ensure that you're not a robot. So it's a bit of a test. And every single time it, included, it includes images. If you need it to include sound, there's a sound option. So in this case, it's asking us to identify all squares with a street sign. And we're going to click verify and then we're going to click next okay and so here's where we get to the page where we need to enter the email address and because Dave does not have an email address we've created a workaround so basically what you need to do if you don't have an email is you enter the following your first name so Dave's going to enter Dave middle initial last name birth month written out in letters and then birth date in numbers at adp dot gatehouse media dot com and we're going to click personal for this and so this again it's really important first name middle initial last name birth month written out birth date in date at adp.gatehousemedia.com adp will not let you register without an email address but it will also not let you register with a duplicate email address as a user that has already registered. So it's critically important that you enter a unique email, even though we know, frankly, this is a fake email, this is a bogus email. ADP will not recognize a bogus email, but it will recognize a duplicate email. So this is how we can ensure that this is a unique email if you follow this naming convention. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click Next. And so this is where we pause, okay? Because that email is not recognized in the ADP system as an ADP system that's listed there, 
um, we need to have Dave enter these identity questions. So he's going to answer, in what city is 57 Runoff Drive? And then we're going to click Next. And then he's going to continue to answer these identity questions. So these particular identity questions are picked out from public records. So you might review them and think it's odd that that ADP has this information, but it's public record. And so what the system is doing is it's verifying that it's you to safeguard your private and personal information so that somebody cannot register as you if it's not you. So that's how it's pulling in that particular information, okay? The other piece that's critically important is when you're answering the security questions, you only have 30 seconds. So you've got to be really quick, okay? Um, in this particular case, it's now asking for contact information. We're just going to leave this blank and click Next. And then Dave is going to go ahead. We're, we've reached the point where he can enter his user ID and password and continue his registration process in the ADP Vantage system. So what we normally say is for folks that have a Gatehouse email, we generally have them enter their uh, Gatehouse email. Um, you, can, you can make something up, whatever user ID you want. You don't have to do that. You can pick whatever user ID that you want. It's just a guideline that we give because whatever you choose, you've got to remember. And then you can go ahead and pick any password that you like. And then you're going to go ahead and pick and select out your security questions. And because um, this, these are personally identifiable, I'm going to have Dave answer the questions, um, but in a fake with fake answers. So he's going to go ahead and pick out his questions and his fake answers. And so folks, remember, when you're registering, you obviously want to answer these questions accurately because you're going to need this to um, make sure that you can get back into the system if you somehow forget your password or you forget your user ID. So again, we're just entering it this way um, to protect some of Dave's privacy. And we're going to go ahead and click Accept Terms and Conditions. And we're going to click register now. And there we go, Dave is registered. So he is, can now navigate as an employee to my ADP to use the employee self-service functions. Great job.